As technology advances, we are gradually meeting our energy needs through alternative sources. However, solar and wind power have a major drawback. They depend on the weather conditions. If there is no wind or sun, the energy output is reduced. To overcome this challenge, we can use a more reliable and predictable source, the tides. We have been able to forecast the tidal patterns for centuries, so we can use tidal energy systems to generate consistent and renewable power. Tidal power can be as simple as installing underwater windmills. In this video, we will explore this new form of green energy and its potential applications. Tidal wave energy, also known as tidal power or marine energy, is the energy that is generated by harnessing the power of the ocean waves and tides. The ocean is constantly moving due to the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun, creating high and low tides that change every day. These tides create a huge amount of kinetic energy that can be converted into electricity using different technologies. There are different ways to capture tidal wave energy, depending on the location and the type of wave or tide. For example, one method is to build dams across estuaries or bays with large tidal ranges. These dams have gates that open and close to let water flow in and out during high and low tides. The water then passes through turbines that generate electricity. This method is called tidal barrage. Another method is to use wind turbines, but underwater. These turbines are submerged in the water and spin by the force of the tidal currents. They can be installed in shallow or deep waters, in arrays or individually. This method is called tidal turbine. A third method is to create artificial pools along the coast that are enclosed by walls or barriers. These pools have gates that allow water to enter and exit during high and low tides. The water then drives turbines that produce electricity. This method is called tidal lagoon. A fourth method is to use devices that capture the energy of the ocean waves and convert it into electricity. These devices can have different shapes. So, how does tidal wave energy work? Well, it's pretty simple. The basic principle is to use the movement of the water to spin a turbine that is connected to a generator that produces electricity. The turbine can be placed in different locations and orientations, depending on the type of technology. For example, in a tidal barrage, the turbine is placed inside the dam and rotates when the water flows in and out of the reservoir. In a tidal turbine, the turbine is placed on the seabed or on a platform and rotates when the water currents pass by. In a tidal lagoon, the turbine is placed on the wall or on a bridge and rotates when the water enters and exits the lagoon. In a wave energy converter, the turbine is placed inside or attached to a device that moves with the waves and rotates when the device oscillates or bobs up and down. The electricity that is generated by the turbines can then be transmitted to the grid using cables or wires, or stored in batteries or other devices for later use. The electricity can be used to power homes, businesses, industries, and even electric vehicles. Tidal wave energy has a huge potential to meet our energy needs. According to some estimates, tidal wave energy could provide up to 10% of the world's electricity demand by 2050. That's equivalent to powering more than 1 billion homes. And that's not all. Tidal wave energy has many other benefits as well. One of the main benefits of tidal wave energy is that it is renewable and clean. Unlike fossil fuels, tidal wave energy does not emit greenhouse gases or pollutants that contribute to climate change or harm our health. Tidal wave energy also does not use up any land or water resources that could be used for other purposes. Tidal wave energy is also reliable and predictable. Unlike solar or wind energy, tidal wave energy does not depend on the weather or the time of day. We can always know when and how much electricity will be generated by tidal wave energy based on the lunar and solar cycles. However, tidal wave energy is not without its challenges or drawbacks. There are some technical, environmental, and economic issues that need to be addressed before tidal wave energy can become more widely used. One of the main challenges of tidal wave energy is the high cost of building and maintaining the infrastructure and equipment. 
Tidal wave energy technologies are still in their early stages of development and require a lot of research and innovation to improve their efficiency and durability. Tidal wave energy plants also need to be connected to the grid and have backup systems in case of failures or emergencies. Another challenge of tidal wave energy is the potential environmental impact on the marine ecosystem and wildlife. Tidal wave energy technologies can alter the natural flow and temperature of the water, affect the sedimentation and erosion processes, and create noise and electromagnetic fields that can disturb or harm the marine animals and plants. Tidal wave energy plants also need to be carefully designed and located to avoid interfering with navigation, fishing, tourism, and other human activities. A third challenge of tidal wave energy is the limited availability of suitable locations. Tidal wave energy technologies require specific conditions to operate efficiently and effectively, such as high tidal ranges, strong currents, or consistent waves. These conditions are not found everywhere in the world and may vary depending on the season or the climate. Tidal wave energy plants also need to be close to the shore or the consumers to reduce the transmission losses and costs. A fourth challenge of tidal wave energy is the social acceptance and awareness of the public and the stakeholders. Tidal wave energy technologies are relatively new and unfamiliar to many people who may have doubts or concerns about their safety, reliability, or aesthetics. Tidal wave energy projects also need to involve and consult with the local communities and authorities who may have different interests or opinions about their development and implementation. Despite these challenges and drawbacks, tidal wave energy has a lot of potential and promise to become a major source of renewable energy in the future. There are already some successful or promising tidal wave energy projects around the world that are demonstrating the feasibility and benefits of this technology. For example, the Silwa Lake Tidal Power Station in South Korea is the world's largest tidal power plant with a capacity of 254 megawatts. It uses a tidal barrage to generate electricity from the water flow between a lake and the sea. Another example is the Megan Tidal Energy Project in Scotland, which is the world's largest tidal stream project with a planned capacity of 398 megawatts. It uses tidal turbines to generate electricity from the water currents in the Pentland Firth. A third example is the Swansea Bay Tidal Lagoon in Wales, which is the world's first proposed tidal lagoon project with a planned capacity of 320 megawatts. It uses a tidal lagoon to generate electricity from the water level difference between the lagoon and the sea. A fourth example is the CE2 Wave Energy Project in Australia which is one of the world's most advanced wave energy projects with a planned capacity of 240 megawatts. It uses wave energy converters to generate electricity from the movement of submerged buoys that are attached to pumps. These are just some of the examples of how tidal wave energy can be used to power our world with clean and renewable energy. Tidal wave energy is an exciting and innovative technology that can help us fight climate change and create a better future for ourselves and our planet. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more awesome content. See you next time.